Hello and welcome to Nagaland News Network. Amika Nagaland de soap manu election laga resulted rukhi thaga nishna. Aj laga tin de election laga result declare huche. Itia ami party kan kiman party party kan kiman seat judi kina ase. Itia ami olap kui diwo. We have NTPP party with highest seats that is 25 seats judi kina ase NTPP party kan. Itu bisde we have PGB party with 12 seats. It will be today we have NCP with seven, LJP party with two. We have we also have NPP party with five seats. It will be today RPI two seats. It will be today we have independent candidates reaching these are four seats. We also have a JDU with one seat. Our it will be today NPF three that seat. Just again as you know it will be done in this. I'm going to open the channel. Yes, it is the Nagaland State Hood by Gina. Ite tak maki candidates kan election de naulai na thakam yang dikhina payshe. Huli bi this time, ami kan ekta history create kuriye. We have the first ever female candidate and winner announced kredo. We have Hikani, tay first takishe women candidate talaga result announced kredo. Itu bishde we also have another women candidate that is Dr. Salho Tonyo. Maki Twitter rabi cuti kena asyik guna itu bi abnengke jana idea se. Ami kan itu sal election de kaspani one laga candidate Jacob Jimomi tay highest vote with more than twenty thousand votes tay pagina se itu bi abnengke jana idea se. At the moment we have National People's Party (NPP) party laga spokesperson Ranjit Singhvi tay lo de uti kena se. Ami kan atai lo de ekta duita guta grupo le ahi kena se. First of all, thank you so much for availing your time, sir. Sir, NPP party have won a total number of five seats this election. So was that expected from your answer? Very much. You see, NPP though new to the national scene, this is the only national party from the northeast which is competing in Nagaland. And from 2018 also, we had previously two candidates. Unfortunately, they left the party and uh, moved away to another one and but this time we were expecting more but uh, still we could manage five but we were since we had 12 candidates we were expecting around eight but un unfortunately you know how elections are and so this time we could get five of them so definitely we we're hoping for more and we got five so, uh, so as you have rightly mentioned uh, the last election 2018 elections two npp candidates were declared as a winner but sadly they have you know like more like backstepping the party and they've left for another so uh, how confident are you that this time uh, five candidates will stay back at the party see the first of all it's a quick of it those two people last time who had won on npp tickets and had moved to ndpp both have lost to the ND npp candidates this time so in law in other words what i like to say is that you know npp has its own su support base and the people in Nagaland have uh, voted for the vision and the manifesto that we have given to them. And our candidates have got the votes on based on that. And I'm very sure that, you know, uh, all our candidates are gentlemen and uh, that they will adhere to the party policies and they will adhere to, to the party uh, manifesto. And, uh, you know, power mongering is not going to help in the long term because as I told you about the example just now, it is end of the day, what is the vision of the party that is going to stand in front of the MLAs to deliver? And if they still want, you know, if something outward happens, like they're moving away to the other party, it will be like uh, 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 ignoring the people of the man mandate given by the people to them. So I'm very, sh I'm confident that, uh, you know, our MLAs are not going to move away. They are gentlemen people and this time uh, all the MLAs that have come all are very, you know, coming from a very good background. They are all veteran politicians also. And I'm sure they understand now. And one more thing is that importantly, we are also a part of NDA. We are also part of NEDA. So definitely we will be striving to get into the government. So our MLAs have no reason uh, to move away or run away or, you know, try for some other means because we are surely be in the treasury benches. So I am very confident that the MLAs will be with us and uh, we will uh, implement the vision that we have implemented to the people. So one last question. Uh, what are your future plans with the five candidates or as in like, what are the future plans of the NPP? See, the, most importantly, uh, politics is a way of serving people. 
and our MLAs are the faces, the five MLAs are the face of the party right now. And through these faces, we want to implement our vision and all the things that we have you know, laid out in the manifesto for the people, whether it be related to health, to education, to roads, to bringing in, creating more jobs. So definitely we'll be striving for that. And this will what we are hoping in the long term, that people will understand what NPP stands for. And through their work, we hope to do much better in the coming time. So that was the update on the election results here in the state Nagaland. Keep watching Nagaland News Network. This is Kermit Nongdi with video journalist Aimba Jamir.